Dieter started designing in the early 50s. It was after the war, after enormous upheaval. It was also a time of great precariousness, in a way, and a great change and people wanting change and change happening technologically. I'm trying to think, why is he so interesting for people now? And I think maybe, maybe there is also a kind of precarious phase that we're going through, also of great technological change, also of great social change. Dieter met Ingeborg when he was at Brown. She's a photographer working in the photography department. They're a very private couple. They're not out in the limelight. They're not out together at the big red carpet do's. They've been together for over 50 years, the two of them. It's quite lovely, actually. He keeps himself in a very tranquil bubble. I mean, he's lived in the same house for almost 50 years. You know, he hasn't moved. You know, he goes, he gives talks, he gives lectures, he travels, there's shows about his work. He talks to people, he's very generous with his time, but he doesn't have hobbies. His work is his life, his life's his work, and he's not really interested in anything else. 